Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Sorry if the lighting is very terrible, but uh, it's getting dark and I have to use this ring lighting. So, confidence while pregnant. I have definitely mentioned some of these things and talked about this a little bit here and there scattered throughout my channel. So I don't want to sound redundant, but at the same time, I really wanted to make this like a dedicated video. I just think it's so important for women to feel confident in general, but during pregnancy especially is when like you might feel the least confident, you know? Um, I just want to share with you what has helped me stay confident. Let's jump into it. For me, the first trimester was completely a struggle. Like confidence, like there, what? There was no confidence at all. I was extremely sick, extremely sick and depressed. So after that though, second and third trimester has been pretty great, can't complain. Tomorrow I'll be 34 weeks, which is insane. Cannot wait for baby girl to come here. So let me just say this as a disclaimer that I don't always feel hot or sexy and I'm not always put together, but I definitely try to make an effort to put myself together. And that is the key. I think that you're not always gonna feel at your best and you're definitely gonna have days where you're just like, I'm not doing a damn thing. I'm gonna lay on my bed or my couch or run up to the store looking the way I do. Like, I do that constantly. But, you know, I feel like on the days where I put an effort, or by doing a couple of these things that I'm gonna share with you has just genuinely helped my confidence. Even if you have children or you're very busy as a pregnant woman, I think you should take just a little bit, at least if it's once a week to take care of yourself, you know? You really deserve that. It's gonna help your mood. It's gonna help the way you view yourself and I feel like the way you act. So my first tip to give, especially if you're pregnant in the winter or fall, tanning products okay <laughs> tanning products these tanning products have changed my life so the first one which i've mentioned so many times i have a video on it is bondi sands one hour self express it's so good okay don't judge me right now i'm i'm in that like middle like stage where i have to reapply but i've already done it two weeks in a row and like it has to kind of exfoliate and i have to wait unless because if I put it on now, it'll be very muddy and like blotchy. So I am definitely not the color that this pays off. The second product, which is even better to me and not cheap by the way, but a really good investment is the Tan Lux, the face illuminating, illuminating self tan drops and light medium. This product you can use daily and you apply a couple drops to your Night, nighttime skincare routine any of like your creams or lotions or whatever and like three to five drops you can adjust it to whatever you like and then you don't have to wash it off or anything just make sure you wash your hands because it does stain and the next day you'll have just like this very natural illuminating glow and it's so amazing it's amazing what a little bit of a tan can do for you like if you're not blessed with some melanin and a nice little tan it just makes you feel better and honestly when I put clothes on I feel better in them and not washed out so I love love these products the second thing that I would suggest is your nails keeping up with your nails so I just have to say that having nails on has made such a difference for me because I have like short stubby like fingers and I don't really love my hands and they get super pale by the way and I just feel like at least having that manicure or getting, you know, having these nails on has made me feel more feminine and just like happy when I look at them, you know? I have a video on this too, how to fake nail at home or something like that. And I use this brand, Nail Bliss Nails To Go in the almond shape. I reshape them to do like a square and sometimes the oval. The, right now I have the oval almond. These are so amazing and they last like two weeks or if not more. Pedicures, which by the way, I really feel like I should have went with like a corally red color. I'm like a little disappointed that I picked this color. I just, I love this color in the summer when I'm really tan, but I'm in that in-between stage. Anyway, 
I did recently get a pedicure. I, you know, can't afford going every other week or every two weeks. I pretty much made it a, like a choice to do it like once a month and that's good. I've maintained that. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. And even with these, like acrylic nails cost a lot or getting a manicure pedicure every other week is expensive. It adds up. This is something you can do that you could do at home and it's so inexpensive and such a good investment. So you don't have to have money to get the nice nails, okay? So for me, financially, like I, being pregnant, I haven't been able to like go out and splurge on maternity clothes or like get like all this different stuff. I was blessed enough to have my mom and stepdad get me a few items from, for maternity, but I'm like basic. Like all I need is a couple pairs of maternity leggings and I uh, a couple t-shirts, couple like, I borrow my husband's t-shirts, his sweatpants, maybe a couple tops. I think I have like a cute pair of maternity overalls and like a nice top, but like generally I keep it basic. You guys can keep it basic completely and still build, still feel confident. Like all you have to do is just add a couple things. Like I will throw on a hat. I will throw on some sneakers, um, a cute little jacket or a jean or a denim jacket or just something that accessorizes the basics. If you just stick to like a cheap basic pieces that fit you and you're comfortable in, that's all you need. Like you don't need to go out and get all this like fancy stuff and my camera overheated so I'd shut off. I feel like if you were to have like a really cute outfit and you're not feeling 100% confident, it's not going to matter. Like the clothes are going to wear you, you're not going to wear the clothes. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to get all these different like maternity things or like have the best of the best. Like you can still be confident and rock any outfit, any basic pieces. Plus you're pregnant. Like you want to be comfortable. You don't want to have to feel like you have to doll up every day unless like you're into that. And then by all means do it but so another thing is hair now take one day out of the week to do your hair i found that my skin ha was a lot drier during pregnancy so i was able to manage to have my hair done for about a week and it'd still be good and even towards the end of the week i would throw it up and put it in like a sleep uh, ponytail or bun or whatever and that's another thing too you we don't all have the money to go out and get our hair done and get it colored and cut i have not gotten my hair colored or cut in a long time and i have grays and it's not looking so hot but i work with what i have i definitely style it i would blow it out more or straighten it if it was in better condition but for me, I just have to use like the curling wand and just like figure out ways to make it look nice-ish. <laughs> Even if I throw on a baseball cap, it's better to have my hair somewhat done than, you know, it just being like frizzy and like, you know, not cute. So it just makes all the difference. If you, if you wake up in the morning and like you're not in the mood to put on makeup or like get yourself together at least you have your hair blown out or you have some nails like a little bit of a glow a tan you could just run out the door throw on a baseball cap and a lip maybe if you want a lip color and you'll be so much more confident i'm telling you these little things just really make all the difference at least for me you are important and your confidence is important because it affects your attitude and your mood that's really what's helped me I would say perfumes really make a difference too because I just got like a baby size kind of sample of Clinique Happy, which is super basic. I feel like everyone has that. But um, it was just a different scent and I do really like that scent. And I just like, even right before I go to bed, I'll spray it and I'm just like, ah, it smells so good. You know, and My husband's like, ooh, I like that smell, you know, like you feel better. It's the little things you do that help your confidence so much. So accessorizing, get a couple new pairs of earrings maybe, um, you know, new sunglasses. It's summer, so just get a couple of shades. Anything you can do that's going to accessorize with your basic pieces that can help you feel confident. As far as makeup goes, um, I have been putting a little bit of effort, like I'm not gonna lie, like I don't typically always wear mascara, 
but I will always have some concealer, my lip liner, my brows on, um, that sort of thing, a little bit of bronzer. That helps me just feel a little bit better when I'm going out, but um, you don't have to put on a full face of makeup. If it makes you feel best, then do it. Just do it. So that is my tips for how to be confident during pregnancy. I hope it was helpful and not too redundant. I know I've talked about this stuff, but please subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next video, guys. Love you. Ciao.